Okay, so this work is Carry Me With You. Each of the forms that you'll see is a reflection of the three baskets of knowledge from Tane. The premise of the work is to be able to walk through and stand underneath it and be the in-between conduit between the heaven and the earth. Kia ora, I'm Darcel Dorothy Apelu. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, educator from uh, Mount Monganui in Tauranga. My father's Nuean, my mother's Pakia, um, but also descends from Te Atiawa as well. I guess it all started when I was quite young and I'm sure the same for a lot of artists. I had very supportive parents, pretty much from early years of high school straight into basically doing every art paper I could possibly do and then moved on to coming into doing my degree at AUT. I majored in sculpture, went on to do my masters, moved into being a performance artist and working with moving image and installation, um, and now I've kind of come back full circle. I start from usually an autobiographical point of view. What position do I take and how can I relate that to others? Drawing's a super important part of my practice, thinking how can the viewer be the central point and I'll go through maybe 10 to 20 different renditions of it before I even get to what a final concept might be. I digitally draw them up in Blender and then for this process it then gets handed over to the fabricators and engineers. So I learn a lot about bolts and countersinking and all those sorts of things that as an artist you don't really think of but that are super important for structural works. So my practice deals a lot with legacy. The work is in reference to the three baskets of knowledge that Tane brought down from the heavens. So the understanding that I have is Tane reaching the heavens through Te Pautama, so scaling the stairway to heaven and um, getting the three baskets, the basket of light, the basket of darkness, and the basket of pursuit. And so each of those baskets is what he brought down to then basically support mankind. For this one here, is um, reference to specific whenua. Each of the colors reflect that. So this one here is obsidian, the basket of darkness. The yellow one is reference to clay. And then the one that we have down the end there is in reference to panamo, so the basket of pursuit. They're all connected to land because as we pass on, our body returns to the land. And so it's like a cycle action of going then back to the heavens and then coming back down again. The form itself of the circular pieces is reference to the basket and also being like a funnel and channeling down. And the structures of the actual pillars is like a cross section. So when you're in it, it's like X marks the spot. You're right in smack bang in the middle. I spend quite a bit of time thinking about the colors and reference to the space. Choosing the green one here, again, looking that viewpoint towards um, the park was something that I had to really consider as well as the kind of structural darkness of the black kind of towards the cityscape. And the fact that you can walk into the middle here this way, but then also have like a beeline where you're just walking straight through all three baskets. It's not a retelling, it's focused more about embodied knowledge from their ancestors. I want people to understand that they hold knowledge no matter where they're from, that we all hold knowledge and that we can pass that on. We have all this background behind us that can support us through life.